Hey B-Siders, thanks so much for joining me on this solo episode. Today I'm going to take you down memory lane a little bit and I'm going to tell you exactly why the Spice Girl song Spice Up Your Life is reminding me of a weekend away in London with my mum. I hope you enjoy it. So B-Siders, solo episode, trip down memory lane. I can't wait to dive into this with you and I don't know how this came to my mind, um, maybe because I was talking to my mum and we were talking about things we did together in the past and for some reason after that phone call, this this um, this memory came up, this, this um, long weekend and yeah, I just thought I want to share this with you because I'm, I'm going to tell you why a little bit later on, but let's first start off with you know, I think sometimes going down memory lane is, is a great, great thing to do. It's something we all need to remind ourselves of some good times, give ourselves some positivity, some feel good um, thing happening in our body. And maybe it also can be a nudge to kind of form, you know, new memories with these people that if, if there's humans involved, of course, or animals or whatever else, or even yourself, you can make memories with yourself. No problem. Now, the one memory that I would love to share with you today is uh, a long weekend that I've had with my mum back in, I think it was 1997. And my mum and I, we've always had a love for London. Um, maybe that's because my mum had special memories, which I don't want to go into. That's her private life. I don't want to dive into that too much. But she shared that love with London with me when she took me there probably about maybe 93, 94 for the first time. And my love for London was born out of that weekend. The one I want to talk to you about though is, I think it was in 1997. It was another long weekend that we've planned. And as always, we were very, very excited because obviously London is not just connected with amazing, um, as an amazing city, but also the music. Um, you know, England has produced some amazing musicians and amazing artists. And, you know, the whole vibe was just so good and groovy. You know, London at that point for me it was just this funky, you know, you can explore, you can be yourself, you can express yourself the way you want to. And the music kind of reflected that. And obviously there's so many different artists that came out and still are coming out of, of, of the UK that are amazing. But at that point, I remember the Spice Girls. I mean, I, I bet which female doesn't remember the Spice Girls back in those days, girl power and all that, even though I wasn't a massive Spice Girl fan, but I enjoyed their music, I enjoyed who they were, and it was nice to see some females actually stepping into like what they call girl power, so not basically taking anything from anybody and standing up what was they felt was right for them and you know doing that through their music and then, and then just being kind of a good role model to, to a lot of young younger women and girls. Anyway, that's sort of a bit the scene, the music that that sort of played a role in, in this particular weekend. We didn't really do too many incredible things in London. We always just enjoyed the vibe of it. So we did a lot of walking during the day. We did a bit of a tourist attraction stuff, hanging out in all the great parks, having lunch there if the weather allowed it, and just enjoying each other's company and just chilling out and making memories as mum and daughter. And that for me, the simplicity of it was just perfect. Uh, I didn't need a bit, big, massive, you know, let's go here, let's go there. We just literally decided on a day what we felt like and we did it. And the one thing about that weekend, I so remember so vividly. As we found this place, I think it was near Piccadilly Circus and I don't think it exists anymore. I think it changed now. But it was this multi-story place like like a shopping mall kind of thing, shopping center. Um, and it was like an open kind of kind of scenario where it was like really open, like some of the shops were really open and you could see across the levels and everything. And there was this one place where we went for, I think it was lunch on one day. I think we had pizza. <laughs> and we just sat there for maybe a couple of hours and just chilled and watched the world go by, watched everyone walking past, did a bit of people studying and watching and chatting about this and that. And they had really cool background music on, like the popular pop music at that point. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the Spice Girls did an ad for, was it either Pepsi or Coke? I can't remember. I think it was Pepsi. 
And I think Spice Up Your Life was the song they've used in that. I hope I'm correct. This is just my memory and it could prove me wrong. However, the song Spice Up Your Life was playing almost on repeat in that place. So that's why it kind of is ingrained in my head. And it was it was wonderful that day. The lunch was was incredible. We had a great time. And we loved the place so much that we actually went back, I think it was the next day, to, to again have lunch there. And again, they've played um, that song almost on repeat uh, over and over. Not that it annoyed us because it was in the background. You could hear it, but it wasn't annoying. So I, I kind of associate this song with my mom and I having lunch creating a memory of us sitting there enjoying pizza and just being together in in a city we both love and creating like a bubble almost for ourselves with having the music in the background and trust me that probably wasn't the only place where this song was played because I do believe it was quite big at the time but isn't it funny how our brains kind of suck up this stuff and then all of a sudden, like 10, 20 years later, you talk about it with that person you've created that memory with. So for me, this song is very special because it reminds me of the time I spent with my mum. And literally, it was only the two of us because, you know, as probably many of you know, my parents are divorced or were divorced at that point. And it just felt so good to be able to, to go away from the norm to a place we both love and spend it just sitting together, watching the world go by, and having music to kind of cement that, that memory. And I think back to that, and I just love that memory. I can actually really see it in my mind. When I close my eyes now, I can see myself sitting there. I can see my mum next to me. I can remember the, the chrome aluminium tables. I can hear the music, I can kind of see the layout of everything. And for me, I think that's because the music reminded me of that and it kept those memories alive for me. And I don't know if my mum remembers it so vividly. I might have to check in with her on that when I speak to her next time. But for me, that was just an amazing time and it was so simple and, and you know, you don't need much to, to surround yourself with, with, good stuff. Now, why am I sharing this with you guys? It's not just because I want to brag on about I've been in London and I've done this or I have created this memory. I think the reason I wanted to share this with you in this episode is that music can really help you create memories in your brain and retain them so you can literally remember them better. And I do feel, and if you many, many of you might know this, if you go to a concert or if you go to a club or if you have anything that's music related, you do remember it better. So if you want to create a memory, maybe make sure you add a little bit of music to that. So it really, your brain really sucks it in and holds on to that memory if it's precious to you. The other thing I wanted to say is, and I've been pondering about that since this idea for this episode came up, we don't necessarily have to travel far. We don't have to have crazy ideas for, for, for um, an event or spending time with someone. Sometimes the most simplest ideas can create the most memorable experiences. So that could be sitting outside with a cup of coffee and having like a little bit of jazz music playing in the background and just spending it either with yourself or someone that you appreciate and love. That could be a wonderful memory that, that you can fall back onto when you feel like you need to lift me up. And obviously then that goes back to the music. I mean, Spice Girls were huge in the 90s and they are artists in every decade that are huge, that will help us make memories. I mean, these days, I think I'm not really in, in the know that much. I'm in my own little music bubble most of the time. You know, you have artists like Taylor Swift or maybe not so mainstream where someone is really, really successful in their little niche. So it doesn't always have to be hugely successful people. But what I'm probably trying to say here is there will always be artists that will be there with us in our stages of life to help us create memories. And maybe my point that I'm trying to make is, can we all be a little bit of we're a little bit more aware of 
the music we are playing and how can we use that to make memories with others. Yeah, I think that really is as simple as that. I just wanted to share that with you and encourage you all to create your own special moments and allow music to be part of that. On a side note, it doesn't have to be um, on Spotify. It can be at the beach. It can be in the mountains. It can just be at your home. Open a window. You might hear the breeze of, you know, or you hear the birds. Just create memories and experiences for yourself and just keep your ears open for the sound that comes with that experience because it will definitely help you when you might need a little bit of a lift me up. You can fall back onto those and say, you know, I've created those memories in the past, those experiences, and I can create them again. And maybe add as a little bit of spice, go back to the Spice Girls, add a little bit of music on top of that. So it really cements itself in your heart and in your in your head as well. Okay, that's it. I'll leave it at that, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I know I say that every time, but I truly hope you do. If you have a special memory that's connected to music that you want to share with me, I'm all ears. I would love to hear from you. Otherwise, please share this episode and the podcast, obviously, with anyone else that you think could enjoy listening to all these incredible music related stories and tips and tricks and otherwise i'll be back again with you guys very soon until then you all take good care of yourself please and i'm sending you as always much music and love until next time bye bye b-siders bye <laughs>